What's up survival? It's Jason here. Today I'm gonna do a tag because I was tagged by Frog Tag to do the Serious Six. Now if you don't know what the Serious Six is, it's just six questions about SHTF scenarios and methods and your ideas. And this tag originated from Hike and Deep. I'll put a link in the description down below to their videos and their channels. But one thing about Frog Tag, unfortunately his channel has been deleted by YouTube again. So I don't know if he's gonna do more videos. He does have like another channel for that, but I'm, I'm gonna put down that other channel. I think it's Desert Sanctuary, and he has a couple of his uh, videos, his recent videos on his other channel that he had on there. And I'm just gonna put down that video from Desert Sanctuary. So just get that word out there and possibly even sub up to his new channel of Desert Sanctuary, but he still has the EDC around the world. So you could go there as well. So let's get into these questions so the very first question is what shtf scenario do you fear the most and there's a couple options on here so there's nuclear biochemical natural disaster economic collapse martial law emp spiritual cult or religious now let's go over some of these scenarios so nuclear i'm not quite sure if Arizona would be a prime suspect of a nuclear zone. It would be probably close to some different areas, probably like uh, the bigger areas that are well known, kind of like California, maybe even Las Vegas, Nevada, and maybe Texas. I don't know if that, but the, I'm not, I don't think that Arizona is a well enough known area to actually nuke, unless it has like a big giant, it's just explosion that something happens in Nevada and just takes over but I'm thinking that stay tree that uh, Arizona shouldn't really be a prime suspect to that so I'm not really afraid of that scenario so the next thing is biochemical and I think the very first thing that really got me into prepping was like zombies and zombies are pretty much biochemical and I was like, I think it's just because of like, kind of like the starting now since I was a teen and I like the zombie theme and just thinking through scenarios of the zombie apocalypse. So that might be an option for me. And that's the reason why I kind of prepped up for it because if you're prepping for the zombie apocalypse, you pretty much prep for everything, you know? So the next thing is natural disaster. There aren't really that many natural disasters in Arizona. The main thing is just flooding, especially from the monsoon season. And that could be really devastating to a lot of houses and buildings and stuff like that. So, but I am prepped for some of that stuff as well. I know what scenarios to do or what things to do to prevent a lot of the flooding in the house and what supplies to get. So, not really for natural disaster. The next thing is economic collapse. I'm not really afraid of that not martial law not really mp or the spiritual cult or religious so i think the one out of these options is probably biochemical and i think the reason why is just it if you think about it biochemical would spread a lot so just it's just like it's almost like over like a, probably a week or something like that could definitely be bad for the whole u.s and the world as well so i think that would be the most feared scenario shdf scenario the next one is number two and a shdf scenario we suffer a total economic collapse if the dollar loses a value or all value what do you readily have available as currency you can either use materials or skill set so i think for me most of them of my currency is going to be skill set and the thing about this is I could probably fix up a lot of stuff. I have a lot of ingenuity to get that stuff done. And I could possibly even help out uh, fix just like uh, your shoes, your pants, your bag, your whatever, something like that. I could, I'm could. i definitely getting into leather making and just sewing stuff up. As you've probably seen in before, I had my dump style pouch that I made and that really turned out really well. So I think I am getting better at that and I could definitely use that as a skill set for a currency to sell people or just to trade with and stuff like that. A trade for a service. So materials, I don't really have much for materials except for a lot of the gear and stuff like that. I have like a lot of the like fire starting stuff or cooking stuff or even uh, food, the alcohol or even uh, 
maybe some water as well because we have a pool. So the, I'm gonna have to find out a way how to get a really good way to purify it and just filter out all the chemicals for the pool part, but still we have a lot of water for right there. So that would be definitely a material for currency. So number three in the SHTF scenario situation, your mindset is to dig in or bug out. So for my mindset, I'm gonna dig in. So I feel that a lot of my preps and all my stuff is just gonna be right there and me just bugging out to a scenario, just limits of what I could have readily available, especially since I have all that water in a pool right there. So I'm first gonna be digging in and this is, I think it really depends on the SHTF scenario. If it's nuclear, you'll most likely try to bug out or try to get to a really safe area and that's where the bug out bag would be really readily available or, or would be really necessary to have, and especially in those situ situations. But I think all of the other stuff, kind of like the natural disaster, unless it's actually like really bad natural disaster for flooding, we have to get out of the house and just having your necessities to go somewhere and just spend a night or two or something like that. But I think the main thing is for the smaller scenarios is to dig in or bug in. So I think that is my mindset. Number four in the SHTF, uh, what environment would you prefer? Wilderness, urban, or suburbs? For me, I think that probably the wilderness, especially since I love wilderness, all that, but in like a, probably like a natural disaster of the smaller SHTF scenarios would be to get into the suburbs. I'm really pretty much in the suburbs, like right in between the suburbs and wilderness. And I could definitely go out to the wilderness and just stay around there for a little while just to let things cook over and just like let things go and stuff like that. So I think mainly for most scenarios, I'm gonna say suburbs. Number five, what are your three strongest skill sets that you can bring to the table in an SHTF situation? So for my three strongest skill sets, I gotta say, I think the biggest one is the ingenuity uh, or the MacGyvering. So the main things about that, I could definitely create a lot of stuff, just uh, get through. If I have a problem or a situation and I have to have to make a certain thing for to get that accomplished, I can most likely do it. If I put my mind to it, I could definitely do it. I think the next one is most likely firecraft, of course. And I gotta love my firecraft. I could pretty much do a lot of different ways of starting a fire. The only way that I'm not really keen on is the primitive friction fire. I could do it in like a pump style friction fire but not really the natural the bow drill and the hand drill and stuff like that but mainly just a lot of the firecraft I could definitely get it done and the last scale set would be what would it be all right I had to think about it for a little bit but I think I got the final skill set and it is because I am a hard worker I think that would be an excellent skill set because I don't really like just leaving a job undone and I definitely want to figure out a way how to get that skill set done or that job done and I could definitely use that as a skill set because I could definitely prove to a lot of people that I'm a hard worker and that is a really good thing to have especially when you don't give up in a lot of situations and jobs. So that is the three skill sets. All right, the last question, number six, tag three fellow YouTubers who have less than a thousand subscribers to share a foxhole with in an SHTF situation and why. I think the first one I'm gonna tag is Tech Hill. And the reason why is because he's in Arizona as well. And that would save a lot of resources towards going to him or just picking him up and going somewhere. So I think that mostly like, it's probably because of resources and stuff like that. 
but a lot of the stuff he does he has a lot of just crafting stuff he makes a lot of cool things and he can definitely do a lot of the camping and survival stuff as well so that is an awesome skill set to have in the shtf situation so the next one is ranger cookie and i believe that he has a lot of good ideas and also he has an awesome little bug out location as well so that would be great in an shtf situation the last one the third I would say 5150 the Bob. Oh uh, yeah, gotta have 5150 Bob. And one of the reasons is because he is a mechanic and that would be an awesome skill set to have in a SHTF situation because a lot of the cars and stuff like that, you probably need to fix up and stuff like that because I think mobility during that could help a lot in an SHTF situation, especially if there's like marauders or something like that, or you just like, fixing up cars to trade as well using that skill set could definitely do a awesome thing for currency and stuff like that using a service as a currency so i think those are the three one uh, the three youtubers i would have to tag and those three youtubers would have to do a video on this so do those videos if you want to and i'll put a link to everybody's channels down below and i'll thank you all for watching see you in the next one